up beautiful people, welcome to my channel. My name is Jo and I'm a tattoo artist based in the south coast of the UK. Today I'm going to be talking about the top six mistakes that people make when coming to get a tattoo. And the last one is the most important one, so please stay tuned to the end to make sure that you never make this mistake. And don't worry, I used to get tattooed myself, I still get tattooed myself, and I may have done one or two of these things as well in the past. I'm just trying to make you be the dream client for your tattoo artist so that you feel relaxed your tattoo artist feels relaxed so that you both have the best experience that you can possibly have so grab a cuppa and get comfy have you done any of these before let's find out and number six we have asking your tattoo artist's opinion for everything if they ask you oh i don't really know what to get what do you think well i don't know i don't know what you like i love my dog so i'll tattoo my dog on you probably not gonna like that and also when it comes to the size, the position, everything. It's really helpful if you have a good, solid idea of what you're after. Of course, we can offer our advice and what we think will look best, but you need to have at least you knowing what you want and where you want it, and then we can help with the small adjustments. Number five, bringing all of your mates or it could just be one mate that challenges what you want. So you come in with what you want in your mind, super happy about it. You say to your mate, what do you think? And they go, mm, no, I don't like it. I think you should get something else. Sorry, no. <laughs> it's your tattoo, you've made up your mind. Leave them at home. Someone to hold your hand and a little bit of support is absolutely fine. Don't bring your opinionated mates. Number four don't be early. This might be a bit of a surprise because some people are a little bit anxious, you want to make sure you're there on time and being on time is absolutely fine. Being anything over I would say five minutes early is actually quite annoying. I like to be nice and prepared but I have a busy schedule and tattoo artists have schedules and allow these specific times for your appointment. So if you rock up 15, 20 minutes early, they might still be tattooing, they might be having their lunch and that sort of break to have a bit of alone time. So you don't wanna ruin that, that will probably annoy them. Be on time or most five minutes early. Number three, moving. I know it's hard to sit still for a long amount of time, but people like to talk with their hands when they're getting tattooed or with one hand. Your whole body is linked, you're attached to everything. So if you move one part of your body, the rest of your body is going to move and that might cause your artist to not be able to go where they want to be going with the lines. So please sit still as much as you can. If you do need to move, absolutely fine. Just tell your artist that you need to have a little stretch or something. They would much rather this than you kind of fidget and like not being able to sit still because you've been sat still for ages. Just tell them you need to move and they will understand. Number two, telling your artist how long your tattoo is going to take. Even if you've been getting tattooed quite a lot, it's really annoying when someone tells you how long it's gonna take because I don't know how long it's gonna take. Skin feels different in different areas. So some places are harder to tattoo than others and we don't know until we actually start. Also, we don't know if you are a little bit of a mover. Sometimes tattoos just take a little bit longer than what you think and sometimes they don't take long at all. But we don't really know so I don't know how you know. Number one, this one, please, please, please listen to. Not listening to your tattoo artist. This covers a range of things. We've been doing this a long time. We've experienced quite a lot of things. We know what looks best. The tattoo is for you. I want you to be happy. And I hope all tattoo artists want you to be happy at the end of the day, however, you must value our opinions when it comes down to design, size and placement. Also under this one, when you send your tattoo artist a tattoo or a drawing, a design that you've done or paid for, that does actually need tweaking to not take that on board. We do not want to copy someone else's tattoo because we want to give you your own tattoo put our creativity into it and make it unique to you. So please allow us to do this. Hopefully you will like the design that we create for you because it's for you, it's not someone else's. Also things may need to be tweaked because of the position on your body. Something that you really like might not fit that place on your body. So it might require a few amendments to get the design to fit perfectly. And that goes with size and direction as well. We don't really like the whole upside down tattoo. 
face especially on forearms because people are like I want it for me so I want it facing me the right way up however 99% of the time it is upside down for everyone else and it just looks weird especially if you are planning on adding to your arm tattoo everything else will have to be upside down as well and it will just be an upside down arm so please listen to us we do know what we're talking about I promise I hope you found this video useful please give me a thumbs up if you did please subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't already that will notify you when my new videos come out of tattoo advice LGBTQ issues and general lifestyle stuff please check out my latest video click right there and you'll get taken straight to it magic thank you and I'll see you next time